A team of researchers have discovered several security flaws in the Fisher-Price Stuffed Bear smart toy. Now, the team from Rapid7, which is a Boston-based security company, found that the app connected to the smart toy was vulnerable to hackers, putting personal information at risk, such as a child's name, birthday, and gender. Now, Nick, this is coming on the heels of a very long trend that we're seeing of all of these smart connected devices. And what was happening here is that the bear comes with an app that mm -hmm. Fisher Price encouraged parents to use. And with that, they can push daily activity reminders, like in this picture, brush your teeth. And the bear is there to watch just that. Staring at you. Just staring at you. Mm -hmm. um, and different, you know, story time, let's color, all of this from the app. But when the parents sign up, they have to put in the kid's name, their birthday, and uh, their gender. And this information wasn't protected the way that it needed to be for this. That's scary uh, for a number of reasons. You know, I, growing up, I had a Furby and that was kind of creepy, but it wasn't taking my data and potentially giving it off to people, you know? So this is like a next level. And this is, you know, something that we're gonna be dealing with for quite some time until we get the whole security issue figured out as, you know, uh, as, as normal everyday children's toys become more interactive and everything starts to get tied in with our with our phones. And not just toys, but everything from Uber to things like this. I mean, it's, it's gonna become the norm. So we gotta get used to it first off, but how do we, you know, fight this kind of stuff? It's, it's scary. I mean, uh, you know, there, there's this new New television coming out by Samsung or it might even be out already where it's like it's always listening to you so that you don't need a remote you don't have to say hey Samsung television turn the channel uh, change the channel you just say like change the channel because it's always listening and then I remember a, a journalist from the Daily Beast like looked at the actual like pamphlet of how to use it and like somewhere like the 185th page it said be careful what you say in front of our television because it could be listening and people could potentially get access to your information so don't say anything valuable so again we got to get used to it and it's scary but it's not going anywhere. I mean, it's unfortunate. This company, Rapid7, actually uh, came up with another issue that they were having with baby monitors that had Wi-Fi connections, and people were hacking into the baby monitors and watching oh kids sleep. So, I mean, it's... I understand the need to sort of have these smart toys and it mm -hmm. seems cool to be putting all of our information out there. And, and there are a lot of arguments to say, well, if everybody's doing it, then it makes it that much harder to find. But, you know, I don't think people really understand the uh, repercussions for having a small child and putting all of that information out on the Internet. You're putting Social your, media. Yeah, you're putting your kids' images, you're putting, you know, their birth dates, all of this stuff that people can just have access to. And then, you know, in the extreme case, they might be cultivating IDs or taking out lines of credit, you know, with these kids. Now, in this case, with the Mattel or with the Fisher Price Smart Bear, um, this vulnerability was found, and Fisher Price issued a statement saying that we recently learned of a security vulnerability with our Fisher Price Wi-Fi connected smart toy bear. We have remediated the situation and have no reason to believe that customer information was accessed by an unauthorized person. Mattel and Fisher Price take the safety of our customers and their personal data very seriously which is why we act quick to resolve the potential vulnerab vulnerabilities like this. So even with this case, even though no information was taken, there are a lot of smart connected devices out there and they could be putting your kids at risk.